Hi, this is Jackson Short Lines, and here I'm going to show you my next layout, Avon, Avon Branch Lines, Wooden Short Lines. And what it is, is like, there's Avon Yard, which is in Indianapolis, one of the bigger yards in Indiana, and one, and this branch line, this branch line, and that branch line that goes under the couch. Anyways, so, we're going to start in Avon Yard. Now, in Avon Yard, I added um, what, an engine um, holder, whatever you want to call it, uh, that holds all the CSX extensions to be used later, to be used eventually. And an engine needs to be used, like they just pull out whatever engine they need, and, and then they use. And, and then they, we go out, and then we have two customers, a coal plant and an ethanol customer. And, and here is Avon Yard, where it's storing it's all of its cars, which it doesn't have many stored up right now. And the and this line is the through line of Avon Yard. And here is where its branch line starts. That's actually... I based it off of a line that goes to 86th Street in Indianapolis. That goes as far north of Indianapolis as it gets. That's actually in the 465 circle. And we go here where we have a grain customer. By the way, we once did a, an excursion in Indianapolis and we looked literally everywhere on trains. So that's how I know so much about Indianapolis trains. And in here we have a huge boxcar customer, which is directly connected to uh, through this line, and then goes he uh, here onto this one line line, and it goes over into here where the boxcars dispense into th that customer, and also a cool customer right here. And then a backtrack that goes over the couch and ends right there. This is the backtrack. So that's the, the, this branch line. Let's go to the 86th Street one. So here it goes under the couch. And not much under the couch. And here it goes out and has a grain customer. And then a crossing. And then... Here it has like its final trail customers where it has a lot of them. It doesn't actually have a power plant here, but it, I needed somewhere to put all the coal it, because I have I decided to put a huge coal plant on, so I needed all the power plants. And so there's also a big amount of ethanol and a small lumber lumber yard there. Then that flat car is as I explained last time. It, my flat cars there is to separate the ethanol tanks from the, the engine, engines so the engineers don't get hurt if because ethanol is toxic. And so we go around, and in this last customer, this is where it, CSX connect, it connects with the second leading railroad in in Indianapolis, Indiana Railroad. And Indianapolis isn't actually a big train town, although it is huge on CSX. There's like, um, I don't, I'm not going to count how many there are, but there are lots. Like, and so it here it connects with Indiana Railroad that goes from uh, Indianapolis to Bloomington to Jason. Jasonville, where you, it's a small town where it has its main yard, and then has a, has another main line it connects to, to Terre Haute, and I forget the name of the city it is, but, yeah. uh, what is that city called? Um, I don't know what the city is called, but it dispenses into a huge military plant. I think I talked about this last video. It, and then it goes, and then it goes into a connection with, um, what's the road called, um, 
Uh, I forget the name. I feel, really feel like I should know this, but it connects to the only central where it gets its it, in a model from, where it has its in a model yard in Indianapolis. And on the CSX line, it has a grain spur, which is where all the gr grain customers are getting it from. Then it, Indiana Railroad has a tulip trestle. And here the CSX and the uh, Indiana Railroad converge because they, they don't want to build two lines on the in tulip trestle to waste all that money. Because I heard that it, the tulip trestle, for every bar of steel that they used there, it it averaged a million dollars, and it was a very it had a lot of steel uh, plant plants that go like some go di some go diagonal some go diagonal some go this way like and then move up to make a trestle. It and every one of those cost an average of a million dollars, so that's like that's a huge kind of thing to build. And so I bet they only, I bet they wanted to save money and only wanted to build one. And here's where the CSX ends. CSX end into this huge coal plant that that has three tracks in it. And here is Indiana Railroad where it has its two SD nineties. And it has their its own train cars. And here it has its screen customer, and that's where the Indiana Road ends. And this is the last line I haven't talked about. This is, I pretended this is the Indiana Road's connection with Canadian National to get its intermodal from. It, and so it goes across here, and then into this intermodal plant, and then we have Canadian National engines from GMNO. I, I haven't used these GMNO engines on my line, and frankly if I have, then they probably wouldn't be here. Right, because what I did was I decided that to use these engines because I just thought why not and I haven't used them on my track before hmm. so that's the line anyways hope you liked it anyways but also I re I've realized that we can it make comments on this yeah, I seen someone with the same type of channel that does have comments, and I think the changer is that you need to have, um, we need to get 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of viewing. So, uh, please, please uh, subscribe to this, like this video, and keep watching his, his to get up to those 4,000 hours. Anyways, thank you for watching.